Hello, welcome to uh, August 9th, 2024. My name is Kurt, and this is my daily good life meditation. It's an exercise that I do each and every day, a little bit after waking up, to remember my life objectives and principles, those which are outlined in my book, Going Alone. All right, let's get started. Rudy, keep an eye out on things. <clears throat> so, walk along the little the little course that I like to, uh, it's a loop. Zip, 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 goes around. I, I do uh, this every day. Just walk, walk this course over and over. And there's other trails too, but I like this one little course. All right, <clears throat> let's begin with a, an assessment of uh, last night and yesterday. How did I sleep? You know, that's interesting. I haven't talked about that much at all since uh, I came here. I'm sleeping really good, without issue. Oh, wow. I didn't really realize that until now, how that has changed. <clears throat> in the past, in the last couple of years, I've had a real difficult time with sleep, particularly waking up um, before the alarm, several hours before the alarm, and being tossing and turning, not able to uh, get a good night's rest. That seems to have passed completely. <clears throat> I go to bed pretty much at the same time every night, around 9 o'clock, and I wake up um, at 4 a.m., Sure, the alarm wakes me up, but uh, get up without any issue. And I don't, and it's just a, a dark passage between uh, putting my head on the pillow and waking up. <clears throat> That's a huge change. Much better than the uh, panic attacks that I was experiencing <clears throat> several years back when I was really in the thick of it. In my job. It's so funny how that is. It's changed a lot. In the thick of it before, sun sun is coming up over there. In the thick of it before, I was in my work and there was no escape. There was no chance of getting away and getting out. Trapped. Trapped with my by by virtue of my responsibilities to my family. Now, those responsibilities are largely passed, all within, in the course of a couple of years. Now, the thing that worries me, isn't this lovely? That's a Beauty Mountain, way, way over there. That, that one, you, I don't think you can see it. That's Beauty Mountain, in the Beauty Wilderness. The thing that um, <clears throat> haunts me now, it's a funny thing. Think about this. <clears throat> I just realized something. The thing that caused me so much distress before was the weight of my responsibilities. The thing that is causing me worry now is what to do in absence of those responsibilities. Now, sure, my daughter still needs me, and she will in various degrees, but not like before. <clears throat> She's independent financially, living on her own taking care of everything. My wife, she's fine. Um, and, whoop, big spider web. Oh, I already broke it. Sorry, sorry, Mr. Spider or Ms. Spider. <clears throat> so yeah, so the weight of responsibilities has gone. Work, they don't need me. I mean, it seems like I repeated myself with all these videos, but there are various, there are various perspectives on the same situation, right? I mean, this, I, this is the big the big thing that's happening in my life right now. So it's no wonder that I keep talking about it and bringing it up in various angles, but really revealed an interesting thing today about the fact that just two things, you know, one about the uh, sleeping and two, the fact about the fact that my concern in life, the, the heavy part of life has switched from the weight of responsibility to what to do when that weight has been lifted. <clears throat> hmm. I'm really glad we had this talk. So, um, I slept well. And yesterday was a really, really good day. I sometimes measure my days like uh, tides, like, like the tide. If I'm having a low day, which I do, I re refer to that as low tide. And if I'm having a, a better day, I refer to that as uh, the high tide. 
two days ago was there was a, a, a low tide moment for sure and uh whereas uh today the tide, yesterday the tide was riding quite high goes the owner of the house they live over there on the other side of the property and they have like a little this the property so big there's like little dirt roads that go around right there one driving past so that was yesterday and last night let's talk about the creed just a little bit eight objectives and 35 principles the eight objectives are to number one be always ready to die two to make good and effective use of my time three to develop and maintain good and sound life principles four to cultivate good emotional reactions five to perform good actions six to recognize true limits and true opportunities Seven, to do just one thing at a time and do that thing slowly and deliberately and carefully. And then eight, to keep my balance. <clears throat> it's interesting how uh, saying those things aloud like that without even needing to necessarily think about them distills it out into kind of a, a singular objective. And I can feel it through the day as I, as I wander, as I do the various things. It's become a, a result of the habit of reminding myself of that every day. The 35 uh, principles, I'm going to, as I've been doing, skip those for now because I can't remember them all. I need uh, something, some sort of a cheat sheet. All right, so let's finish. What am I going to do today? Today I have the day off, it's a Friday off. So I'm uh, finish this, this walk. I'll do another couple laps um, until the sun comes up. Then I'll upload this. Then I'll uh, clean the house. My little tiny house doesn't take long. And then I'm having a meeting at eight o'clock um, with a, uh, a financial advisor who reached out to me. He uh, specializes in uh, people like me, uh, expats, particularly those living in Japan who um, have, my American in particular, who have uh, the, the curious situation of financial li or tax taxable liability in both countries. And he reached out to me. Um, he's also a financial planner. And he actually uh, offered pro bono work just because he's curious about uh, uh, the frame of mind of a person like me going through this. Um, of course, I'll pay this person for their services, but we have a consultation this morning. We're going to talk about my situation. I'm going to put together my, continue putting together my questions. Um, and then we'll see how to plan things forward a little bit. This should be interesting. After that, I'm going to uh, take the dogs, of course, and before that, all that, I'll take the dogs out for an, a, long, a long outing in the morning before it gets too hot. <clears throat> And then I'll head to town by myself because I need to do grocery shopping on Fridays. Well, I'll do laundry too. And then I'll, uh, I'll go, and I, I can't take the dogs with me because I need to go inside the stores. So I'll go to, uh, you know, Costco and Trader Joe's and my usual route. I take out a, a, uh, a budget. I have $200 a week is my budget while I'm living here in America. So I take that out in cash. And then I use that to, to fund things and buy my groceries and whatever's left over I go to. Remember during the fires how there, there was that one restaurant that bought me uh, breakfast? I go there um, uh, usually on Friday night for uh, to have uh, their fish and chips dinner with whatever cash is left over. And then I usually enter the weekend with nothing and then go the whole week. It's a very good, it's a good system. It works really well. I'll also continue working with Yumiko. We're doing a couple of things like uh, picking, narrowing in on the date that I'm, Ollie and I will fly to Japan. We're also, she's taking care of my beginning. To, uh, I've already done all the paperwork for uh, my uh, visa registration, my visa application for Japan. She's, she's doing her part on that on her side. And um, I must say I'm settling in. I'm becoming at home here. 
as much as it can be. It doesn't mean that this is where I want to be. This is this is just a waypoint along the way, but it's not as heavy as it was the last the first month of being here. It was a very disconnected and confusing period. Glad I got through that. <clears throat> okay, with that I think I'm done. I uh, wish you all the best. <clears throat> be safe. But not too safe. Take care.